I got the order for this this morning at 8.40 a.m. It has to be delivered by tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. This is a typical day with us because when things like this happen, we don't have a lot of time. At first glance, you might think that Trey Ganim is working backwards. He's got less than 24 hours to deliver a casket to a funeral in Houston. And right now, he's taking a perfectly good one and tearing it apart. We have to repaint this whole thing today, have it back assembled tonight and delivered in the morning by eight. You can't reschedule a funeral. You know, it, it's one of those things that it's, you do have a deadline and that deadline has to be perfect and it has to be personal and it has to be exactly what the family wants. It leads to short turnarounds and long nights, but Trey wouldn't be caught dead delivering an ordinary box. He's taking something somber and formal and turning it into his canvas. This isn't your grandfather's casket. With custom upholstery, two-tone automotive paint, and other bells and whistles, this is the hot rod of the funeral world. And no matter what you're into, from fishing to fashion, Trey and his team will make sure your final resting place fits your personality. Funeral directors tell you 90% of the families that come pick out a casket can't remember what color it was. So when you come to Trey Gannon Designs, it's full of life. This is what we call the peacock casket. And each one of these are individually I mean, these are just single peacock feathers that we have to glue. The paint design is a flip-flop. It will actually turn green, yellow, burgundy, depending, depending on the lighting, um, and so it matches the peacock feathers. You'll do anything from fishing to snakeskin? Yes, this is a, a real marlin bill that was caught in Cabo. Um, that one is a 10-foot python that we had done, tanned out. Whatever that uh, family member was into, we try to celebrate their life. So you remember the cool stories about what, what they did while they were here. That would make a cool story. Yeah, this <laughs> one's pretty awesome. A couple of years ago, you would have found a car, not a casket in Trey Ganim's spray paint booth. He's been making custom hot rods since he was a teenager. Dad bought me a car early on when I was 15, and it was a ragged out old Mustang, which would be really awesome now, but you know, it was at the time what we could afford. 69 Mustang, a little bit of body work, paint work, and by the time I was 16, it was the coolest Mustang running around. Remnants of Trey's past life as a professional hot rod builder still adorn his workshop in Edna, Texas. He enjoyed success, even landing on the cover of industry magazines all over the world. So what would possess a man to give up his boyhood dream? Trey lost a close friend and came away from that funeral, wishing for something more personal. To look at him in that casket was so sad. I was thinking it would be so awesome if we had deer skin interior or camouflage, something that represented him because now you remember all the good times that you know Jim had and you have your campfire stories, but you know, then you celebrate the life. Trey already has countless stories about how his wacky, whimsical designs help families cope with their loss. They spark happy memories. They honor the honorable. And in the most tragic times, they help parents like Natalie Chapman through their worst nightmare. Bubba was my five-year-old son that was diagnosed May 2nd with uh, brain and spinal cancer. And it, it took his life after four, four months. It's the most important time of a family's life, the most tragic, most important. And we try to make it as perfect and as personal as we can. So here's the picture of the train that the Make-A-Wish people brought to you. And here's our kind of rendering of what we want to do for Bubba's casket. Each casket is totally different from the one you did before. And what I try to do, and I say I let my soul shine, is because I pray about it. I learn as much as I can. The family's telling me stories, you know, what was he into, what was he like, or what was she into, what was she like. And how it affects the families is 
why I do what I do. I mean, it's not about, you know, just doing a painting on a casket. You have, it comes from here. Getting Bubba that casket, we never called it a casket. It was not a box. It was a train, and it was the best train. The train that Trey designed for Bubba was more than just a casket. It was a light at the end of a very dark tunnel. I was wondering, you know, how mothers handle this because you don't normally bury your five-year-old. And I took care of Bubba even after he was gone. I made sure he was taken care of. It's perfect. You have to get what we do. It's not a job. And, and a lot of people just think, oh, he just, that's his job. It's not my job. My job is helping families. This is just something in between to get to the family. It literally made me smile so much. My cheeks hurt all week long, and that's not even possible when you lose your five-year-old, but Trey literally touched my heart the moment that I seen that. In his cavernous workshop surrounded by columns of caskets, one thing is clear. Trey Ganim has left hot rods in the dust. Now this jack of all trades has a new passion, to craft a remembrance that's as unique, beautiful, and memorable as a cherished loved one. We all have a purpose. We have to find that purpose. And when we find that purpose, we need to put it to work. I'm actually living my dream. It's just a blessing to be able to see a family with a smile on their face at a tragic time. And, uh, it, you know, I can't say enough about it.